Fitness friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human body, the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. No matter what your health challenge is, it's designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our phone number today and every day on the bright side. If you have questions about formulations or ingredients or skincare, if you have questions about the longevity products or the longevity business, 844-236-6010 is our number today on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of our, any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, you can purchase products right off our websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you want to purchase any of our truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel, head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, we're talking hormones and the hormone system. The hormones are the action of the body. The structures of the body, the bone and the tissue, those are, relatively speaking, stagnant compared to, compared to the hormones. And they're not truly stagnant. Everything is dynamic in the body. But the hormones are really the activity. The word hormone means activity. It means I arouse to activity. Most of the hormones are the brain's way of communicating to the cells. And this idea of the brain communicating to the cells, 100 trillion cells are somehow organized into a coherent whole from messages that come ultimately from the brain. This is unbelievable when you think about it. How the heck does this even happen? The brain makes hormones. The hormones get secreted or the, the brain makes hormones, those hormones go to glands, the glands make hormones, and then those hormones go into the blood and somehow from that point, every one of the cells of the body is, is communicated to via the activity of these hormones. This is mind-blowing when you think about it. The hormones are the brain's way of communicating to all of the cells of the body. All the 100 trillion cells of the body in this way are linked together via the activity of the hormones. The hormones are the brain's ambassadors. They're the brain's emissaries. They're the, they're the brain's messengers. If the brain is the god of the body, or if you prefer the symbol or the representative of God in the body, the hormones are God's angels. The word angel is actually derived from the Greek term for messenger. So in a way, angels, messengers, hormones, these are all linked. And they're all ways that the body and all of its 100 trillion cells are linked together in one, into one coherent, congruent whole. The hormones are what make everything happen. Nothing happens. Nothing, nothing, nothing happens in the body without hormones. In my opinion, this is, this is the most fascinating aspect of all of health. It's called cell signaling, technically, and it involves the messages that travel through the body, specifically through the blood in the case of the endocrine hormones. There's other hormones too, and we'll be talking about those as well, but the, the, when we talk about hormones, most of the time we're referring to endocrine hormones. These are the hormones that travel through the blood to all of the cells of the body. By the way, I got a letter today from a listener who said that he took exception to my explanation about the relationship between the chakras and the glands. So apparently this person thought that 
this was somehow blasphemous and offensive. So just to be clear, all I was doing when I talked about the, the link between the chakras, what ancient people called the chakras or the wheels or the vortexes and, and the glands, is just trying to point out this really fascinating connection between modern science and ancient wisdom. How could, how could supposedly non-advanced, non-technological, primitive human beings without microscopes, without modern instrumentation, without an understanding of the cellular nature of biology and biochemistry, how could these people make a link between bi human activities and the biological phenomena called the glands? How did the Chinese know about acupuncture 2,500 years ago? Even prehistoric Neanderthals performed surgeries using herbal medicine. They actually found skulls that had little holes in them, ancient skulls that had little holes in them because Neanderthal people were, were doing some kind of head surgery for people who were wounded. How did ancient beings know these things? This is one of the greatest mysteries. I find this incredibly fascinating and, and really represents clear proof that history may not be what we've been told it is. And it exemplifies misunderstandings of who we are and where we came from, unconscious or perhaps deliberate misunderstandings that are represented by what we're told about religion and medicine and science as well as history and that misunderstandings that ultimately serve to disempower us. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. Sorry for that digression. Back to the adrenal glands and their secretions, which we said yesterday come in two forms or two classes, the stress hormones and what we call somewhat inaccurately the sex hormones. I prefer to call these our youth hormones, our vitality hormones, our fertility hormones because they're associated with making babies. They're also involved in growth and repair and anti-aging, especially when it comes to having beautiful skin. The so-called sex hormones, the youth hormones, the fertility hormones are your skin's most important health hormones. They keep your skin healthy, attractive, glowing, clear, beautiful, youthful, Whatever, whatever metaphor you want to use, whatever descriptor you want to use for your skin, if you like it, it's probably related to hormones, to the so-called stress or the so-called sex or fertility or youth hormones. This, this link between the skin and the adrenals is really interesting. And even though we spent a lot of time talking about it, the adrenal glands as it relates to blood pressure, the adrenal glands as it relates to immunity, the adrenal glands as it relates to, as they relate to overall health, the link between the, the beauty of our skin, the look of our skin, the link between beauty and appearance and the adrenals should not be underestimated. I've been in the skincare business now for over 32 years and I can tell you what we put on our skin matters way less than what's going on inside our bodies. If you have any skin health issue, whether you're dealing with eczema or psoriasis or rosacea or acne or vitiligo or, or uh, just simply dry skin or accelerated aging and wrinkles <clears throat> and hyperpigmentation, you are dealing with an internal condition 99% of the time. It's very rare that you can create some kind of skin dysfunction topically. Yeah, there's topical allergies that you can have to nickel or to latex or such. There's even gluten topical allergies that people have. There's concrete dermatitis that construction workers get. But for the most part, when you have a skin condition, you have an internal condition. And anybody who tries to sell you a skincare product for your dry skin or a skincare product for your rosacea should be ashamed of themselves. Or they just don't know. Let's, let's put it that way. Let's be nicer. They just don't know. If they're trying to sell you a rosacea cream, they just don't understand rosacea. And there's a lot of people in the skincare world, in the skincare business, mostly business people who see that they can make a lot of money in, in skincare, bookkeepers and, and marketers and bankers who see they can make a, a lot of money taking advantage of innocent people. And they're selling rosacea creams and they're selling various topical products to heal skin issues. Don't fall for it. With the exception of vitamin A and vitamin C, which are effective when they're done correctly, when they're formulated correctly, perhaps vitamin D and alpha hydroxy acids, and beta hydroxy acids, that's pretty much it. When it comes to topical skin health, when it comes to the beauty and the look of the skin, it's about the inside of the body. And a lot of that has to do with the adrenal glands and the sex or fertility or youth and repair hormones, estrogen, testosterone, and progesterone, and DHEA. Interesting article came out yesterday um, about the, actually uh, a couple weeks ago, about DHEA. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We're back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Our number today, 844 
If you're interested in purchasing any of the Longevity products, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to my blog, criticalhealthnews.com or my blog, pharmacistben.com or benfuchsarchives.com or brightsideben.com. You can order products directly from any of the websites or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. Okay, so we're talking the glands. We're talking hormones, hormone health, specifically the adrenal glands. One of the most important of the adrenal hormones, well, I'm just going to touch on it here a little bit, is a substance called DHEA. This stuff is unbelievably important. We're going to talk about it next week because it's so important for pretty much every single system in the body. It is a, it, it could be thought of as the mother of all hormone, all steroid hormones, I should say. Progesterone comes from DHEA. All your sex hormone, all your other sex hormones come from DHEA, estrogen, and testosterone. It, it's the parent hormone, the mother of all hormones, DHEA. Love this stuff. DHEA now, as it turns out, has a relationship to heart disease, according to an article that was published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology. Blood levels of DHEA may predict an increased risk of coronary heart disease in elderly men. DHEA is your anti-aging hormone. You know, pretty much all hormones are the anti, or can be considered anti-aging. All of the uh, fertility hormones can be considered anti-aging. But DHA, which is called the mother hormone, because it's the source that fuels all the other uh, all the other steroid hormones, can be thought of as your most important anti-aging hormone. Of course, the neatest thing about DHA is you can get it from the health food store. You don't want to take too much of this stuff, DHA. 10 milligrams, 15 milligrams a day. I know some people that take a lot of it. If you take too much, you might end up with a little breakout or a little hair loss. But there's another form of DHEA that you can take that will eliminate or minimize the risk of side effects. It's called 7-keto DHEA. We'll talk about 7-keto DHEA the, uh, and DHEA as well. The precursor hormone to testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, as well as cortisol for that matter. And we'll talk about that next week. So, your adrenal hormones represent survival and thrival, both survival and thrival. If you're off surviving, you're not thriving. You can't do, one, you can't do both. You're either surviving primarily or you're thriving prim primarily. If you're in survival mode and you're secreting stress hormones, cortisol and adrenaline and such, your body will lose its ability to thrive. It's going to survive, but it's going to be like your computer when it's on safe mode. It just won't be able to do all of its functions to maximum capability. It'll make it. But it won't be able to do all of the things it needs to do to, have, to give us joie de vivre, joy for life. Fertility will be impacted. Appearance will be impacted. Immunity will be impacted. Our ability to, to withstand the vicissitudes, the ups and the downs of life will be impacted. But we will survive. The, the big problem when we're, in, when we're in survival mode is all, our, all the fun stuff, all the good stuff, all the hormones that are associated with why we love being alive are going to be suppressed. This is one of the reasons why it's so, so, so important to activate the relaxation response and tell the body it's safe. When you activate the relaxation response and tell the body it's safe, all of the growth and fertility and anti-aging hormones will be secreted. Telling, it's, telling the body it's safe through nutritional supplementation, through, this is why nutritional supplements, by the way, are so important. They tell the body it's safe. Oxygenation tells the body it's safe. Keeping sugar intake down helps improve the safety profile of the body. Eliminating digestive toxicity. All the things we talk about really on this program when it comes to good health are really about telling the body, sending the body the, the message, communicating to the body that all is right in the world. Oxygen tells the body everything's okay. Vitamin C tells the body everything's okay. Nutritional supplementation tells the body everything's okay. Protein, essential fatty acids, the mighty 90 essential nutrients tell the body everything is okay. Stress, on the other hand, the survival response is the manifestation of a body not thinking it's okay. And by the way, if you're a woman going through menopause, that's a classic example. The symptoms of menopause are a classic example of the body not thinking it's okay. Menopause is a classic example of a stress response gone run amok. Hypertension, melasma, anxiety, insomnia.